Hey guys, it's Bella, and today I am wearing vampire things and have dyed my hair. That's beside the point. I wanted to make a video talking about how I built my emo scene alternative girl wardrobe. And it is something you guys ask me a lot. You ask me like where I get my clothes from. So I thought that I would give you tips and tricks on how to grow your wardrobe. The first thing that I recommend doing is finding your like core aesthetics. So I usually do this through Pinterest. I have um, style inspiration boards where I go through and I break down my style. So in these boards I have different subcategories like pastel goth, cyber, goth, Hawaii, and emo scene. And I kind of sort everything out there. And that is generally the aesthetics that I stick to. So when I go in for inspiration and I find these posts, I find clothes that, you know, I'd like to find something similar or I'd like to find that exact item or outfit and I go from there. So the next thing I recommend after doing, going through Pinterest or wherever to find your like aesthetics, I would check thrift stores. I'm going to be showing you examples of some of the items I've gotten from thrift stores, but a lot of this can be just basic items, whether it's just uh, plain t-shirts or plain like pants, um, like you'll see like you can DIY them, you can paint them. I also check children's sections. This is because I like a lot of graphic tees and brightly printed things and I'm also a very small person so I have the ability to do that where I can fit pretty comfortably in a child's like large and then um, something that might be a little bit small that might show off my midriff would be like a child's medium to small. So if you are a smaller person you're able to do that, I definitely recommend it. So this is actually one of the shirts that I have found locally at a thrift store. I think I found it at a Plato's closet. And I'm just going to go and sh go ahead and show you some of the other things that I have found locally. Here is another top I found at a Plato's closet, I believe. Actually, my friend got me this one. It's just super cute. I think it was originally from an H&M. But I really like it. Here is another top from a Plato's closet. This is something that I got when I first started thrifting clothes. Um, it's super cute. It's off the shoulder. I've had it for literally ever. As well as these leggings. They're pink and blue and purple and kind of pastel gothy. Uh, they've got skulls and flowers on them. I also got these at Plato's Closet. Now we're moving on to clothes I got at Goodwill. Believe it or not, this Panic at the Disco t-shirt came from a Goodwill a couple years ago, maybe three years ago or so, but yeah, you can find band merch at thrift stores. I found band merch at Plato's Closet, Goodwill. It never hurts to check these stores. Like I said, you would be very, very surprised at what you find. Here is another shirt from Goodwill. This is actually a kids shirt. I got it in the kids section. It's probably like a small, it is very very tight on me and when I'm wearing high-waisted pants it does show off a little bit of midriff. The last thing I have to show from Goodwill is this huge pink sweater. I got this uh, ugly hunt sweater hunting for spirit day my senior year of high school. I found this and it was my favorite sweater for a long time, probably until just a few years ago, like a year ago maybe, I stopped wearing it as much. Next I'm moving on to internet thrift stores. This first one actually doesn't come from like a thrift store or secondhand store. It came from Wish. I'm including it in this section because it was a bargain buy. I think I spent like three dollars in total including shipping on this so I find that to be an incredibly good bargain. Um, only thing with Wish is that you have to be really careful because the quality isn't the greatest even the quality of this is very strange it's like a weird stretchy material so you get what you buy for but sometimes it's worth it. So here's this um, MSI shirt. I have had my eye looking out for this shirt since I found the design in like 2010 probably. I found it on Depop, which is actually the place where I get a lot of my band merch. You can find a lot of like out of print, older band merch. 
So if you're looking for stuff like neon cartoon monster merch, this is your best bet is to go through Depop. Yeah, so I got this one on Depop. It's one of my favorite shirts. My hair is getting messier and messier from trying on all these shirts. But here is another fan shirt that I found on Depop. It's in this blue Asking Alexandria one. I also got this yellow Asking Alexandria one. It was bundled. Um, you can find a lot of good deals like that on Depop of people just getting rid of their old merch. And so they'll have like, you know, you can bundle them and save a little bit more. It's a good way to build up band merch. Aside from band merch, I also get a lot of my like older Hot Topic-y type clothes, like the 2000s Hot Topic clothes from there. Here's a shirt probably from like 2009, 2010. It's my vampire shirt. I got this on Depop. I also got this, which is kind of in the same vein of like early 2010s, late 2000s Hot Topic shirts, graphic tees. This one's a tank top. So you can find a lot of shirts like that on Depop. I really recommend it if you're looking for older Hot Topic merch or older band merch. There's a lot of it on there. I got these pink skinny jeans from Depop. I got a identical pair but in blue also from Depop, the same seller. They were bundled together. Like I mentioned before, you can get stuff bundled together to save money. So I got these ones they are identical with the rips, just a different color. So that's where I get probably a majority of my like color jeans is from Depop. Sort of the last place I actually do look for clothes is uh, big stores, like, you know, stores like Hot Topic, Killstar, pretty much anywhere like in a mall, specifically because they are like more expensive and it's hard for me to find something that I actually want at one of these stores versus something that I'm like, well, I guess this fits into what I would wear. I'll get it. And the only time I really ever buy from stores like this is if there is something that I'm like, that I really, really want that I can't really find anywhere else. I found that these stores don't really cater to my aesthetics. So I would find myself buying there specifically because it's like, these are the stores that are supposed to be what you want. Like when you think of buying emo clothes, you think of like Hot Topic. Buying goth clothes, you think of like Killstar. I personally like to look at the thrift stores and these independent designers first because I end up being pleasantly surprised with that more than what I buy from these big corporate stores. This is honestly one of the few t-shirts I have from Hot Topic. Like I said, I get the majority of my shirts from either Depop or um, independent brands or creators on like Instagram. But uh, I have this shirt and this is also where I get a lot of my pants. I got these leopard printed ones from there. I've also gotten some shorts. So like I've gotten these. And I also bought these pants. Now a majority of the stuff I buy is usually on sale. I know that I've gotten pants from clearance for like 10 bucks. I've gotten shorts when they were buy one get one. But these pants specifically I did buy full price and they were probably about 50 bucks. But I had my eye on them for a really long time, probably like a year. And when I saw them in the store in my size, I was like, I should just get them. So that's why I ended up buying these and not trying to find them for a better price. So I mentioned that you can find stuff pretty much anywhere you look, and that's true. I mean, I got these pants. They are, they really remind me of like trip style pants. They are big and like flared out at the bottom. They're capris. But I got these at a Target. And I also got this, uh, owl sweatshirt from a TJ Maxx in the men's section. So definitely look everywhere when you go shopping, not just in women's, not just um, at the stores geared towards your aesthetics. Look pretty much everywhere because you can find stuff anywhere. It never hurts to like browse through these places just on the off chance that you do find something versus like being like, oh well, this isn't marketed towards my aesthetic, my sense of style, so I'm not even going to bother because you could be pretty surprised by what you find. And finally, um, after you've accumulated a lot of basic clothing items into your wardrobe, you can start introducing things like jewelry and maybe a little bit more intense pieces. So I found a lot of my jewelry from Depop. Uh, I get a lot of you can get like your band bracelets, throwbar bracelets, you can get necklaces, um, you can even get like candy and stuff if you're not into making it yourself. 
I do make candy myself and so I wear some of that. I also get a lot of bracelets and necklaces from Hot Topic. Um, that's like the main thing I get from Hot Topic rather than clothes um, is oftentimes accessories. So that's a good place for that. Other things you can introduce into your wardrobe are like belts at this point. Um, I get a lot of belts, like studded belts from Amazon or eBay. I heard it has a lot I've never bought from there. I get mine from, I've gotten some from Depop and I've gotten some from just like Goodwill. So I thrift a lot of my stuff. So I hope this video helped you guys um, gather some information on how to build your wardrobe and you know answer the questions as to where I get my clothes. Something this does take a lot of time. I probably have been dedicated to building a alternative wardrobe for as long as I can remember. Definitely the past like three years or so. But I know that I have stuff in my closet that I've gotten when I was like, you know, 13 that I still wear. Really the trick is to always like have your eye out for stuff. You know, I find a lot of stuff in surprising ways. I find stuff through thrift stores at like Target, Walmart. I have found stuff, I found like designers on Instagram by chance. It's really just always keeping an eye out and always having an open mind as to what you can incorporate into your wardrobe. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.